हेलो फ्रेंड्स ड्रिलिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट ऑपरेशन इन सी एन सी मशीनिंग इन दिस वीडियो वील डिस्कस ड्रिलिंग साइकिल जी एटी थ्री फॉर फॉनुक ओ एम कंट्रोल ड्रिलिंग साइकिल जी एटी थ्री इज यूज फॉर ड्रिलिंग ऑफ डीप होल्स आई एम एन एम चक्रदेव आई हैव मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन सी एन सी मशीनिंग सी एन सी मशीन ऑपरेशन and part programming so we'll discuss different parameters of gat3 drilling cycle also we will take one programming example now we'll discuss the parameters of drilling cycle gat3 gat3 drilling cycle is also called as spec drilling cycle this is the sketch which will explain the functioning and various parameters of drilling cycle gat3 drilling cycle gat3 is single line program here x denotes x coordinate of center point of hole y shows y coordinate of center point of hole to be drilled z is depth of hole Q is depth increment. R is retract plane or safety distance. So tool will come in rapid traverse to R level. And F gives feed in mm per minute. So these are the parameters of drilling cycle gat3 now we'll see the functioning of drilling cycle gat3 the uh, as uh, earlier discussed drilling cycle is one line program so first tool comes it at rapid travel to the point which is center point of hole in x and y axis so this is center point of hole in x and y axis so this is the center point from here tool will move in rapid traverse to the job face nearer to the job face this is called as r level or safety level so first of all drill will come in rapid traverse to the center point of hole in x and y axis then it will come at rapid traverse to the safety distance this is called as r level or g99 this is initial level this is called as g98 then from he, he, this point from safety distance drill will start drilling at program feed but up to in up to first increment this increment value is given by parameter q again tool will retract to the safety distance then tool will take next increment in this way tool will progress incrementally and will finish the drilling operation so this is called as peaking cycle here z is the depth of hole friends now we'll make cnc program using drilling cycle g83 drilling cycle g83 is also called as peaking cycle this is a component drawing this is a component drawing this is plate of 100 mm by 100 mm this is the job zero point for x and y axis this is x axis and this is y axis and this is zero point for z axis so here main operation is drilling of four holes of diet in through the total thickness of plate is 40 mm so the drilling depth is more 
so here we can use cycle G83. So we will start making the CNC program. First block is program number. O is the code for program number in FANU control. Any four digit, maximum four digit number we can give as program number. N1 is first block. Here we have given some codes which makes the machine ready for, ready for new jobs. G17 is plane selection. G17 is plane selection, XY plane selection. G90 means absolute programming mode. G40 is cancellation of cutter compensation. And G8 is cancellation of any can cycle used in previous program. In block number 2, that is N2, we send machine to the reference point for the head axis. So G91 and G28 are codes for sending machine or auto-referencing machine for the head axis. In block number 3, we have sent the machine to the reference point for X and Y axis. G90 is absolute programming mode. Here we have used G91, so here we must use absolute programming mode G90. And G54 is work offset number. So this is the work offset for this is zero point or job zero point for x and y axis, and this is zero point for z axis. So work offset is relation between machine zero point and job zero point. So the distance from machine zero point to the job zero point in x, y, and z axis is registered in separate register and G54 is number. So this is work offset number. N5 is tool call. Here tool number 10 is called. So spindle will be loaded with 10 number or tool number 10. M6 is code for tool change. Block number 5 will be there only if you have automatic tool changer. If don't have, you don't have automatic tool changer, then block number 5 will not be there. Now, in block number 6, we have positioned the tool to the center point of hole in X and Y axis, center point of first hole. So, the first we have positioned the tool to the center point of hole in X and Y axis. But we have position tool 100 mm away from the job face. At the same time, we have started the spindle with 1200 RPM. M03 is code for spindle rotation in clockwise direction. In block number 7, we have use G43 code which is tool length compensation which is used for tool length compensation. So tool length is registered against H10. We have used tool number 10. So against H10 we have recorded the tool length. So here tool length compensation is considered. G40 is code for tool length compensation. In block number 8, we have defined the parameters of drilling cycle G83. So, X20 and Y20 means these are the coordinates of center point of first hole. Z minus 40 means depth. Q4 is increment. So, each time tool will go to 4 mm deep and again it will come rapidly to the retractable. So this uh, operation will be continued till the tool has attained the total depth. So uh, 
q is the increment every time tool will go for a dip and again it will be retracted this uh, operation will continue till uh, dealing of total depth r5 is r plane so tool will come rapidly at 5 mm away from the job face f30 is program feed f30 is 30 mm per minute feed is 30 mm per second. in block number 8 we have used code g99 so each time tool will drill and it will go to the r level so 5 mm away from the job in block number 9, we have defined the center point coordinate of second hole. Here we need not define all the parameters of cycle 83 defined in block number 8. Only we have to give the coordinates of center point of second hole. In block number 10, we have given the coordinates of center point of third hole. And in block number 11, we have given the coordinates of center point of fourth hole but here we use code g98 that means after completion of drill drilling operation drill out tool will go to z25 so 25 mm away from the job face because this is initial level initial z point is called as g98 or initial level so our drilling operation is over so in next block we have cancelled the parameters of cutting cycle 83 g80 is code for cancellation of cutting parameters of cycle any cycle in block number 13 we have sent the tool we have sent the machine to the reference point for z axis at the same time we have stop the coolant supply with code m09 in block number 14 g90 is absolute programming mode g40 is cancellation of quota compensation so these are for safety and making machine ready for next program and n15 is block where m30 is code which is end of the program end of main program for point of control so this is how programming for cycle 83 is done friends thank you very much for viewing the entire video you can like this video and subscribe this channel once again thank you